안녕하세요. Hi guys. Welcome back to the Simao Korean for Beginners class. I'm your teacher, Emma. Wow, you're almost done with the Korean alphabet Hangul. Last time, we learned an additional four vowels and practiced distinguishing between the sounds of tense consonant, which allow little air to be released, aspirated consonants, which need lots of air to come out, and lax consonants that release air kind of in the middle of p and p. I know that some of you are still feeling like it's difficult to distinguish between all these sounds, but please don't worry. That's very natural to need extra time to accept a new sound value. The more you practice, eventually you'll get there. So please don't give up. Now, as a part of our practice session, let's read some Korean words out loud. 이야기, 여자, 요리사, 휴게소, 커피, 어깨, 테니스, 떠나다, 아프다, 빠르다, 쓰레기통, 주차, 짜다. Good job! During today's lesson, you're going to learn the remaining Hangul vowels and the new feature of consonants, those that are placed below a vowel. That starts on page 21. All nine vowels we are going to learn today are diphthongs, which means that the shape of the lips and the position of the tongue change while pronouncing each of them. And as I've mentioned during lesson one, these two vowels, we and we, are basically monophthongs, but since the majority of Koreans pronounce them as diphthongs these days, I am going to approach these two vowels as diphthongs just to keep things simple for you. Keeping that in mind, let's get started. So let's look at the first group. Ye and ye both have one more cross draw compared to e and e. Can you recall how the vowel with one more cross than a sounds? Yes, ya, which is actually a combination of e and a. The same is true for this group. So to pronounce ye and ye, start off by shaping your lips as you would pronounce e, and then change the shape to pronounce e or e. So, ye, 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 ye. Ye and ye have a similar pronunciation just as e and e do. Not many Koreans can differentiate between the sounds, so please don't stress out about distinguishing between them. And then, ui. As you might have guessed, this vowel is made by combining u and e. So, the sound is pronounced by starting with the sound for u and then very quickly and immediately pronouncing e. So, ui, ui. Next group, wa, we, we. What common feature do you see? Yes, they all have o in it. So start by making the lip position required for o, and then finish in a similar fashion to a, e, e. So let's try them each respectively. Wa, Wa, we, 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 we. Another group here is wa, we, we. Now this time, they all have u in common. So start by rounding your lips just as if you're going to say u, and then open them up as when pronouncing a, e, e. Let's practice one by one. Wa, wa. We, 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 we. Great. Some of you may have noticed that there are three vowels that have really similar sounds. That's right. We, we, and we. They all have similar phonetic values, so please don't feel stressed out about having to differentiate between them. Again, most Koreans themselves just pronounce them the same way. Now let's move on to page 22 and practice writing them in the right stroke order. Ye, ye, ui, wa, wo, we, 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 we. Good job! Now let's practice reading actual words on page 23. Please read the words out loud. Ye, k, 
그, 이, 기, 얘기. It is the shortened form of 이야기. 드, 왜, 돼, 스, 이, 지, 그, 오, 고, 그, 이, 기, 돼지고기. 스, 이, 시, 그, 예, 개, 시계. 스, 으, 스, 왜, 트, 어, 터, 스웨터. 의, 스, 아, 자, 의자. 그, 위, 귀, 귀. 드, 오, 도, 와, 스, 우, 주. 드, 아, 다. 도와주다. 무, 우, 무, 스, 어, 서, 워, 흐, 아, 하, 드, 아, 다. 무서워하다. 왜, 스, 우, 투, 왜, 투. Great job! Now, finally, it's our time to satisfy our curiosity about the initial consonant and the final consonant, which we already alluded to several times. Till now, we've learned two forms of Korean syllables. One begins with a vowel, and in this case, ing should be added to the initial consonant place as a placeholder, like e or wa. The other form of syllable is one where there is a consonant plus a vowel, like sa or do. Now, if you add a consonant underneath those syllables, we say that the consonant is in the final consonant place, and we call that consonant the final consonant or patim in Korean. For example, if I put biup under e, it becomes ip, which means a mouth. If I put nian under sa, it becomes san, which means mountain. Final consonants in Korean are comprised of seven sound values as follows. Let's see how that works in practical terms. First, when nian, niel, miem, and ying are used in the batim place, they make their own sound. N, l, m, n. For example, when nian comes under a, we read it an, an. When liel comes under a, it becomes al, al. When miem comes under a, it becomes am, am. When ian comes under a, it becomes ang, ang. Next, when piup and piup are in the patim place, they make the same b sound. But please be careful not to make this b an aspirated sound. You should prevent air coming out from your mouth by keeping your mouth closed after pronouncing the patim. What does this mean? Let's look at an example. The sound of a plus b or a plus p is the same, ab. In this case, you should not pronounce it as ab or ab, but just ab. Next, when kiyok, kiyok, or sangiyok are in the patim place, they make the same g sound. Again, please be careful not to make this g an aspirated sound. You should prevent air coming out of your mouth after pronouncing the patim. How? Ak is ak. In this case, you should not pronounce it as ag or ak. It should be pronounced as ak. Now, when the rest of the consonants like tigut, tiut, siot, sangsiot, jiut, chiut, hiut are in the patim place, 
These all make the same sound, d. Again, don't forget that all consonants in the patin place should be non-aspirated sounds. Please make sure that you prevent air from coming out of your mouth after pronouncing the patin. Let's see how this is done. A plus shiot sounds at. It should not be ad or at, but at. No air comes out after pronouncing the patim. Now, let's practice reading words with patim. Son, son. Not son, but son. Son. Tol, tol. Jeep, jeep. Kot, kot. Bang, bang. Tag, tag. Not tag or tag, but tag. Make, ju. Make, ju. Job, si. Not job, si or job, si, but job, si. 생선, 생선. 창문, 창문. 병원, 병원. 낮, 잠. 낮잠. Great job! At times, two different consonants are combined like 기억, 시옷, and placed in the 받침 place like 목. And we call that type of patim double final consonants. Here you can see some examples of such combinations. When a syllable that ends in a double final consonant is followed by a vowel, the sound of both the consonants are produced. But when a double consonant is found at the end of word or is followed by a consonant, then only one is pronounced. What does that mean? Let's consider each condition one by one. First, the patim of the word mok is the combination of kiok and siot. When it is followed by a vowel like e, the sound of the first consonant kiok is pronounced as the patim of mo, and the sound of the second consonant siot is articulated as the initial consonant of the next vowel. So in total, the sound of both kiok and siot are produced like mok si. But when the word mok is alone or followed by a consonant, only the kiok sound is produced like mok, mokdo. Here, you may notice that do naturally reads as do. Likewise, the sound value of certain words may change depending on the circumstances. We will dig deeper into the circumstances surrounding that pronunciation phenomenon during our next lesson. At this time, let's just focus on how the double final consonant is pronounced. Let's practice. Sat. 넉슬. Next, the combination of 리을 and 기읍. For this 받침, its representative sound is 리을. So if you read this word, it sounds 여덜. How about this? 널 is followed by the vowel E, so the first consonant 리을 is left below 너, and the next consonant is attached to the beginning of the next syllable, 이. So its sound should be 널비. Next, the combination of 리을 and 시옷. Again, the representative sound of the 받침 is 리을. Then let's try this word. Great, 외골. How about this one? That's right, 몰골시. Now let's consider three more double final consonants. The combination of 비읍 and 시옷 whose representative sound is 벅. The combination of 리을 and 기억 whose representative sound is 그. And lastly, the combination of 리을 and 미음 whose representative sound is 무. Now, let's practice pronouncing these next words. 갑시 갑 까달기 닭흙 삶이 삶 well, actually, there are some more double final consonants in Korean, but you know, it's better not to memorize too many things at once. We'll cross the bridge when we get there. Wow, at this point, you're all done with Hangul. Now you can read and write every word in Hangul. 
Since there are some letters in Korean without a corresponding sound value in English, you may find it a bit hard to pronounce certain words. But you have been doing excellent job thus far. No one can do something perfectly the first time, right? As you continue listening to lots of Korean sounds during the remainder of this class and practice reading out loud, you'll definitely master Korean pronunciation. So please don't jump to the mistaken conclusion that you are not linguistically talented. Your ability to speak your mother tongue is evidence of your ability to effectively learn a language. Next time, let's look into some pronunciation rules of the Korean language. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.